now live from Hades, just outside the Lake of Fire. It's the Owned by Satan Network, and your host, Opie Winnie. Hi, everybody. Um, you know, I used to do a lot of talk shows back on Earth before I ended up in hell, and um, I just thought now would be a good time to bring out some of the people that I interviewed and some people that were just people who were just spiritually ignorant and, and led all kinds of people to hell who ended up down here with me. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to start off. I'm not going to name anyone's name. I'm going to let you go ahead and just guess. It's kind of like charades. It's kind of like hell charades. You can guess who this person is. And you can figure it out. I'll give you the floor right now. Well, yeah. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, thanks, dude. Uh, let me let me draw some e Egyptian hieroglyphics for you here. And, and uh, let me, sh you know, I was watching Simpsons one time. And I saw something on the Simpsons. And, and it showed me something about the apocalypse. Wait, 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 wait. Don't need to hear any of that stuff right now. Don't you realize that you're in hell? Well, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, I, I'm not really in hell. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to. Um, don't you realize that you made false prophecies that didn't come true? No, 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 no. Th they weren't false. I was just mistaken on a couple of things. Yeah, yeah, dude. I was just mistaken on a, a couple of things, dude. That. And um, didn't you hear my testimony? I thought everybody knew about my testimony. Yeah, we're 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 all just reptilians, dude. You know, and. And um and fallen and fallen angels and, and can you can you please can you please just just stick to the script we talked about earlier? You realize that you're in hell. Everything that you told everyone was lies, and you realize there's all kinds of people out here in the lake of fire right now that are screaming at you because of all your lies you told. Don't you realize that that they're they're gnashing their teeth that they they hate you and despise you because you lied to them? Oh no, I didn't really lie. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Where? Wait, wait a minute. Where, where, where's where's that Archangel Michael at? Uh, he, he'll set it all straight. Okay, that's enough for you. Your time's up. Next, I'd like to go ahead and bring out my friend, another one of my friends who I had on my show a lot of times, and um, he's a really nice guy. And, and and just give him a good hand. Well, let me ask you a question. Remember all the times you were on my show and you told me that everybody would get to go to heaven, even people who were gay and all faiths. Well, well, you know, you know, Oprah, you know, Oprah. I, I, I can't. I can't really be the one to say that. I, I can't really. I can't really speak for God. I, I can't speak for anybody else. I, I, I can't really. But you had no problem doing it when you were on Earth. Well, you know. You know. That's not my place to decide who goes to heaven and who goes to hell. Uh, you, you. You can't ask me that kind of. You can't put that on me. But I ask you in front of all kinds of of, of my, my live audience. Larry King asks you lots of times. Yeah, I know. I know. They asked me and. And people called in and asked, but it's just not my place to tell people who goes to hell. Well, you're in hell right now. Don't you see that? Well, well, it's not my place to tell you if I'm in hell or not. Uh, Opie? Oh, okay, 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 thanks. That's, that's enough for you. <coughs> and who's this well-dressed man from Singapore? Well, you know, you know, Opie? You know, Opie, when people tell you things, when people tell you things like... Um, you don't have to repent of your sins, and uh, after you, after you're saved, you need to repent of your sins. After you're saved, you know you don't need to repent of your sins. That's that's just that's not true. You you, you take that word and you throw it out the window. That that's not from the word of God. God wants us to be to be happy all the time, and everybody goes to heaven that was saved at one time, and and, and we all prosper. You you know I I kept telling everyone, you send me all your money, and I and I'll make you a million. But but wait a minute though. Wait a minute though, JP. You're in hell, don't you realize that? You didn't go to heaven. No, no, no. There's got to be something. Something's wrong with the dope. You know, I, I. All I can tell you is, is I know, I know. That people like the Paul kid. I, 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 you know, I just told him to take that word and throw it through. Where is Paul kid, anyways? Uh, he, he, he's not here. He's not here, JP. He, he's up there in the other place in heaven. Oh no, 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 no! It can't be. It can't be because everybody. You all sins are covered. Okay, okay. Thanks, JP. I've had enough time with you. You know what's really, really sad? What's really, really sad is there's not going to be any, any talk shows in hell, I'm sure. There won't be game shows in hell. There won't be <coughs> fun and laughter. It's going to be misery. But people that are out there that just lie constantly all of these 
televangelists and false prophets and false doctrine peddlers and pastors and teachers and whoever they are. Would it be something if they did let Opie Winnie come out there and have her own show? It would be the Owned by Satan Network. And she could just keep, she'd have an endless supply. She could just bring billions and millions and millions, maybe a billion false prophets up and everybody in hell could come out and just gnashing teeth and just rip at their flesh and tear at them and the demons could tear at them. But it would just grow back again because they can't die. They're going to suffer forever. And don't you realize that when you're part of this, you know, I try to make a little bit of fun in this, but, it, but it, it's not funny. It's really, really sad. When you follow people like this and you're just blind, you're spiritually blind. I tell people all the time, I say, just look and listen to me. Oh, well, you know, Paul Kidd, uh, you can't tell me that. You can't tell me that because these, these, these people are, are great men and women of God. Yeah, yeah, they're prophets. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're end time prophets. You know, just, just stop. Stop. So stupid, man. So spiritually ignorant. I, I, I just get so tired of the stupidity. I really do. I get so tired. But you know, I know the great apostasy has to happen. It's in the Word of God. So I understand what's going on now and the reasons behind it. I really do. I understand it. It doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't make things more palatable. But I understand. But it just, it just tears me up because I'm constantly trying to reach you people. You know, I know most people that watch this video, all, all my friends who watch the video, for the most part, are going to be solid with, with Christ because people flock to people of their own type and their own ilk. And I've got a lot of faithful friends in Christ, but a lot of people see these videos that don't know Christ as Lord and Savior at all. They've never been saved, or they're backslidden. And they follow false prophets who teach false doctrine, and these lying pastors who peddle things like prosperity doctrine. You know, and the prosperity doctrine, at its very root, you know what it teaches? It teaches that the Apostle Paul, even Jesus Christ himself, did not live for God the right way. Let's rewind it. The prosperity doctrine teaches that Jesus Christ, even the Apostle Paul, none of the old school apostles and disciples lived the right way for God. You know why? Because they didn't have fancy clothes. They didn't have all kinds of homes. They had thorns in their fleshes. They had pains. They had a heartache. Anyone who lives from prosperity doctrine, according to Joseph Prince and everybody else, hey, you'll never have a problem in your life. So they, they say even the Son of God wasn't living right. And you got the once saved, always saved, the cheap grace, eternal security. They just lie through their teeth. The Bible says hundreds of times that you have to repent of your sins after your sin or you won't step foot into heaven. That's the Bible judging you, not me. You judge yourself by ignoring the Bible, but you call the Bible a book of lies. And all these different people that teach weird, wacko things on YouTube. You know, I really do wish that I had time to expose every single false prophet on YouTube and Facebook, but I've said before, if I did, if, if I did try it, it would take me probably 40 or 50 years of making videos non-stop with no break for 40 or 50 years to even come close to putting a dent in it. And I'm not even kidding. It's That's how bad it is. There are millions of them. And I'm sick of it. And you know what? When you stand before Jesus Christ, I'm talking to you. And you have to answer to him for your own filthy sin-ridden life, for your lies, for your false prophecies that God says all false prophets will surely die and all the, the people you led to hell. You've got to answer for all their souls and your soul. You've got to answer for themselves as well. Because everybody has a Bible. Everybody has, has accountability for their own self. But you're going to answer for them and for you. And all you people that follow these liars and these goats and these wolves in sheep's clothing, wake up, wake up, and see the truth. Understand what's happening right now. The rapture is imminent, my friends. The signs are everywhere. Everywhere. The watchmen see it. Those who are watching and waiting, it's like the Bible says, excitedly, we see it. We know because God told us he'll give us a sermon to know the season. Not the day and the hour. Only God knows that, but the season. And I'm telling you, we're in the end of the season right now, the last days of the season. And if you're not right with Jesus Christ, if you're, if you're following these false prophets and false doctrine peddlers, listening to their lies, you get caught up into something, then guess what? When they go down to hell, you ride right next door to them. You'll have, you'll have the buddy system on the 666 Express straight down to hell. I'm not kidding you. I'm not playing around joking with you. Eternity is serious business, my friends. Eternity is no joke. It's very serious. And if you don't get right with Jesus Christ, if you keep listening to false doctrine peddlers and false prophets and liars, you're going to drag your own self to hell and you're going to be the one at fault because you did it yourself. Don't blame me. Don't say Paul Kidd is preaching you into hell. I'm telling you that you're bringing your own self down to hell for ignoring the Bible and doing things against the Bible and listening to the liars when you've been warned by people like me 
who you call fools and Jesus freaks and Bible thumpers. I'm tired of it. I'm filled with righteous anger. I'm filled with holy discontent. And I'm, and I'm tired of warning you. But it's, that's not my job to, to decide who to warn and when to stop warning. The Holy Spirit tells me, you keep warning, Paul kid, until you get taken out of this earth by Jesus Christ some other way or until you get raptured. That's my job. And when you stand before Jesus Christ at the great white throne judgment, not the Bema Seat judgment, the great white throne judgment, if you're a backslidden Christian, listening to all these liars and following them and following all these garbage doctrines and stuff, guess what? When Christ plays back your life for you, he might even call me to be a witness. I don't know. I hope not. I'll be heartbroken, but I'll do whatever Jesus tells me to do. He's my master. I'm his slave. He plays it back. You're going to hear every time that that person you called a fool, that person you called an idiot, that person you called ignorant, Paul Kidd, and all the other watchmen, all the other friends who try to share you the truth, and you, you didn't want to hear it anymore. So if you want to go ahead and be a guest on the, on the Owned by Satan network or just be part of the audience out in the lake of fire, gnashing your teeth and saying, yeah, I know, they're exactly right. They're exactly right. If I, I, I didn't listen. Look at me now. I'm burning in hell forever. Then you have nobody to blame but yourself. Let's pray. Jesus, I love you. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your goodness, for your mercy, for your for your grace. I thank you for your patience. Your patience is beyond description, but time's running out. Your patience is going to run out. God's patience is going to run out first and send you back to get us. And your patience is not endless. Please help those who are not saved to come to you as Lord and Savior. Those who are backslidden to repent. Stop being haughty, arrogant, and cocky and come back to you as Lord and Savior. Those believing false doctrines of false prophets and liars to run away and listen to me and others that warn them. Those of us who are true Christians who live through the way the Bible says, if we don't get out and reap the harvest, if we're too sorry and lazy to get off of our behinds and get out there and reap the harvest that's so plentiful it's rotting in the fields, if you don't appreciate what you did for us on the cross, then I pray that you would just rebuke, correct, convict, and teach us like all the rest of them that I mentioned. Don't give us any peace in our life, happiness, joy, comfort, satisfaction. Hound us. Drag us all to sackcloth and ashes till we do the right thing. I ask all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. Went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. And since that time, you've been making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins, Jesus. Wash my heart white as snow. Cleanse my heart. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And once you get saved, get your King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body with food and water every day, this Bible will feed your spirit and soul if you read it every day. Pray to Jesus daily now. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk to you every day. He loves you. Get water baptized. Immersion baptized in a Christian church. Dunked under water as soon as possible. If you've been sprinkled baptized in the past, do it over, my friends. It doesn't count. Make sure that you pray to be sanctified from head to toe with the Holy Spirit, filled from head to toe. You should draw closer to Christ by reading the Bible, by praying, by living for Him. What little time we have left before the imminent rapture. Take that King James Version Bible to church. Or if I preach here, or anyone, or, or writes about the Bible, you open it and you compare. If what we say don't match, you close that Bible, you walk out of church immediately, you unfriend, you unsubscribe, you run away as fast as you can. Because anyone who would lie to you, in Jesus' name, anyone who would lie to you about God's own words in the Holy Bible, will drag you to hell with them, my friends. It's very important. Run for your life. Your eternity depends on it. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you're going to pray for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith. Must receive faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it. But praise the Lord when I prayed for it, He gave it to me. And I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know that God will perform that miracle if it's within His holy will. And if He does, it'll be all through His praise, honor, glory, power, might, majesty, strength. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in His kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean a slave for Jesus Christ. Please share this video with friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. The cotton candy, powder puff, syrupy fluff, garbage you hear all across pulpits, across churches everywhere in the world, Sodom and Gomorrah in the whole world, all across the internet, is the word that leads to hell, to forever in hell. The word that leads to heaven, the word that leads to people wanting to repent of their sins and come to Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, is a King James Version Bible. First chapter book, cover to cover, Genesis to Revelation. All 66 books the way I preach it here. Not because I'm anything, it's God's everything. I love you guys. I pray for every day. May God bless you. Wake up. Thank you. Good night.